I bid you welcome. The situation around the world now is one of aliveness. It is one of change. Prior to the beginning of this year, I had indicated to you that well this year could be called the cusp of a new age. Following that term, it could easily have been said it is the year of uprising as well. But seeing that it was almost obvious that that was the case, we chose the other title. So the world indeed rises now. It is important to note that the rising comes from within. It is not simply because external stimuli or the rants or wants of one generation or country speak louder than at other times. No. Change always comes from within. It comes from the level of thought. It comes from wanting to bring about the new. And on the cusp of the new, it is already beginning to come forward. To offer to you the specifics that would be of interest to you then, will say to you that in the oldest of countries, will come the newest forms of change, in fact newer forms of government. This will not come about as immediately as you would like, and your eyes will first turn to all the turmoil, perhaps even to bloodshed as it would come. And yet it is a wave that will begin to move round the world and will continue, not once round the world, but several times yet in the years to come. Again, I say that it becomes, begins in the oldest of countries, in the oldest of regions. At the same time, we'll say that it will come more where the populations of people number in the younger of years. In other words, where there are the youngest minds, the youngest bodies, that is where you will have the most uprising. These are where the new thoughts are. These are where the new hearts are. This is where the courage is. These times then require courage to bring about change, not simply to defy that which is an already in position of authority or such. No, the courage comes in the wanting to bring fulfillment to the idea of change. So in this case, the weapons are not sticks and stones. No, the weapons, in fact, if they could be called that, are words of unity. They are words of compassion, but they are active words. They are words that unite, that string beads, if you like, one after another after another, making or completing a round or a circle. And the more rounds that are completed, the more whole each one of these thoughts become. And as the thoughts become more whole, they will draw more attention, awareness, and the active force that wholeness inspires. So in the world round you then, just as in the countries that now experience difficulties, there is to be a breaking with tradition. There is to be a breaking with the old and a bringing forth of new. In some countries it will be born of turmoil, in others it will be a very peaceful transition. So do not always assume that this wave that begins here and then moves to there will be a wave of violence. In each case it is the ones that bring forth the whole thought that have the ability to begin with compassion, to begin with an extended thought or an extended hand then it will fall to those that receive it, how they will share that, or what they will extend in case. Eventually, these forms of change or the wave will make its way to the newer countries as well. 
and it will have a unique and somewhat different message for these countries. To be specific, it is not simply a time to overthrow a government or a dictatorship. It is not simply a time to bring about a few more human rights. It is change that is sweeping the world. The next changes to come, the next uprisings, will be from those that cannot feed themselves in the ways that they did. The next uprisings will be not only for those that cannot educate themselves or cannot form for themselves thoughts regarding their future. It will be simple and basic ideas of resources. Where is the available food? Where is the available water? You will note and perhaps already have that very common resources such as wheat and sugar are on the rise price-wise. And while for some it will mean no more than a few pennies on the table, for others it will mean the difference between having and not having the ability to sustain themselves, to bring their product to the world or to their table. This will bring about a different kind of uprising as well. While you can look to one country now and say, well, it is because their form of government is not supported by the world, could you say the same to all of the farmers that bring about sugar or wheat around the world, for instance, you see? So here you will have a different kind of brotherhood that brings an uprising, one that will reach across borders and boundaries and even shores. So the time of change is upon the world now, sweet ones. Do not look to the news that you see and assume it is there and not here. There is here, regardless of where you are. Do not fear this kind of change. Again, do not assume that it is only with violence that one can bring about an overthrow. See how easily you can overthrow one of your thoughts that no longer serve you in favor of new ones that lead to the kind or way of life that you feel most strongly in kinship with. The gift of those that rise up now is in their union. It is in their ability to draw themselves to each other rather than apart. So to them I offer these words. For those that wish to bring about true change, join together, join hands, join arms, do not take up arms. Take up a new idea and let that idea like a new thought be the banner or the wave that carries you much higher so that it does not cast you back to the bottom. The joys, the necessities and the importance of the newer and next generations of the next age will always be those that lead to wholeness and to unity. These then are the teachers, the next movement of the world. Come to those that teach, that share, that bring knowledge, that unite peoples together. Until the next moment, I bid you good day.